hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel um yeah so today's video is going to be my cage tour of um eleanor's cage which is so weird saying like her name because i haven't really said her name on video i i've said her name a lot but um not on video so today's video is going to be a cage tour because if you guys did not know i adopted a hamster from craigslist literally yesterday um and she was in a critter trail and now she is in a 75 gallon tank um i did film a little bit of a video of her old cage so i will be including that video in here before i show you guys her actual cage i also did another video uh like her introduction video whatever you want to say um or call it um that i did kind of go into depth about her old cage there's not anything to go into depth about so like i didn't actually go into it but i like actually looked at it in the video or whatever um i will also be doing some educational videos with it eleanor did live in a career trail ah um basically i'm just gonna get into showing you guys the cage okay also my eyes look really pretty right now my ring light like actually shows my eyes <laughs> oh also want to say yes i have my hair up a lot of people aren't really used to me ha having my hair up so just wanted to say yes i have my hair up i have my hair up a lot guys but i just never film with it up because a lot of people don't know or never really see me with hair also i'm doing the ring light right now so that's what okay sorry for the bad like uh video but i just kind of want to show you since i know i'm going to want to have this this is used to be eleanor's uh old cage if you didn't watch her introduction video it is a critter trail which i think this is about a hundred i should know it but i think it's like a hundred and something square inches it's tiny as you can literally see um but yeah it is not good and honestly don't know why it's still doing this but whatever um yeah so it's like 100 and whatever square inches and you can see there's like that's probably barely one inch um when you know you could literally put about at least a little bit more bedding you know but they did have a couple more hamsters but still that's, there's no excuse there, that's no excuse you can also see her tiny little wheel which is not focusing but her little tiny wheel which i'm gonna say that's probably a six mm, probably a five i think they do five inches um and even when i just had her in the car with me she was climbing up the bar she was trying to put her teeth you can see right there that she was chewing on these bars which like this is exactly why i kept this cage because i'm going to do a little bit of a um like an educational video on it which the the person said that she was in a different cage a different tall one of the tall critter trails so this could possibly be another hamster chewing on it but from what i just saw sticking her nose through here so like still i know that she was definitely trying you know she was definitely stressed just in those couple of maybe like i had her in here for like maybe 15 ish minutes um so like yeah it's that's just insane all right so first here is her outside um i have it over in this corner which is my beautiful corner i i'll eventually get around to doing a whole room tour but i doubt i will do that anytime soon um but here is what her outside of her cage looks like um she now lives in a 864 square inches um i do have them labeled just because i like since i do videos i want to know how much my cages are so this is her outside i'm not sure how much inches of bedding she has but this is how much i gave her um i will eventually get her name probably up here eleanor is a very long name so i don't know how or when i will do that um but yeah here's just like what her cage looks like from the outside um so over in this corner we have her sand um which you can just see she loves it she has never owned sand before which is awesome she has her eight inch wheel um which it's actually an 8.5 wheel but same thing 
um we have her rocks and then this is her old bedding just because i was worried about her like not knowing her scent because you always want to put in their old uh bedding into their new cage just in case um we also have this mushroom hide which is so cute i this is my first time actually like letting an animal use it which i'm not sure how long i'll keep it that in there because i want to keep it night nice because i love mushrooms here is her water bottle and then rocks all along here for her nails which also just to like protect the bedding from going into the sand which you can see that's not really helping she has a bunch of two toys wanted to make sure that she had a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch of chew toys um she also was loving to chew on this this is from ikea um i actually have the bigger one in my mice's cage which they absolutely love it totally recommend those if you're ever at ikea i also have this where which her food dish is on um you can see she was kicking it around like i literally was watching her kick it around and it was the funniest thing in the world um but she has this ikea thing which she has loved so far um it's just like one of those like bookshelf finder things i don't know what they're actually like called but um and then she has a grapevine pea um but she has two cork logs just because I did this in Elliot's cage, which this was Elliot's cage, and he loved it, so I decided to do it in Eleanor's as well. Um, and then I have this piece, which is so pretty, and I actually got this for, like, so cheap at the pet store. I, I think it was Petco, which, yeah, definitely love. And then I also have a red tunnel because I felt like there was, like, nothing fun in her cage. Um, I'm going to get her some boredom breakers just because I really want her to, like, get, like extra attention just because i have not actually here I'll, I'll talk about that later but um yeah that is her cage going from like a hundred square inches or so to 864 square inches i, mm -hmm. I can't believe i ever did youtube without a ring light like i swear um so yeah like i was talking or like i said what i'll do later or what i'll talk about later is i've never actually gotten a hamster out of a bad situation um because elliot or okay avery um i got her from the pet store first hamster didn't really know otis got her from the, got him from the pet store again didn't really know willa i did take her out of a bad situation she was from the pet store but she was in the back which she got in that because she was in a fight but like she really wasn't in like a bad situation like she was at the pet store but she wasn't really in a bad situation um ivy i got her from a uh like a family owned pet store so like she wasn't in a bad situation uh elliot uh he was i adopted him from craigslist but he was in a foster care like he was at this the sweetest girl i love her still still talk to her actually um and she's just so sweet and like she took it from she took him from a bad situation but he wasn't i didn't get him from a bad situation he was just in a 20 20 gallon long which she was a foster care so like she didn't have that type of like enough to get all that stuff so I've never actually gotten a hamster out of a bad situation. I have gotten my my three mice right now, um, with, um, Binky and Oak. I did get from a bad situation. They were in like a horrible situation, but they were in a 20 gallon long, I think it was, and they didn't have any hanging toys. They had barely any bedding. They had a decent amount of toys. Um, I'll just actually pop, pop up the picture, uh, which again, don't really seem like that's a bad situation because I mean, they went into a really good situation. Like, they're in a very good cage right now. But they weren't in, like, a horrible situation where they were being abused at a point. Um, and definitely Eleanor was being abused at a point because critter trails are just abuse. I just, I consider them abused because I personally just hate them with everything in my heart. I hate it. Um, and so, yeah, this is my first answer that I've ever gotten out of, like, an actual bad situation. And like this is the first time that i've been able to like look into their cage and like see the condition or the way they acted now that they're in my good care and in the bad care that they were because she acted so different when she was in the critter trail i swear um i am tomorrow though going to hold her i haven't handled her or anything like that because she's going from a whole different home to a whole different new environment so i'm giving her a second and then tomorrow i'm gonna go and uh try and hold her or see how friendly she is um but yeah 
like I was saying, she was the first hamster that I've actually ever gotten out of a bad situation. So that's why I want to kind of make her cage very busy, want to get her some board and breakers. Every one of my hamsters have gotten the same type of care besides Avery because Avery was my first hamster, but very lucky that um, Avery lived to see good care or see my good care. Um, which I'm, I'm still, to this day, I am so grateful that Avery lived to the point where I learned what hamster care was supposed to be. And I, I gave Avery that good care. Anyway, this is the longest cage tour I've ever done. I just talked five minutes and talked your ears off for five minutes, but I feel like I haven't been able to like talk to you guys enough because um, I haven't been doing enough videos. So I'm going to keep this part in just because whatever, it's at the end of the video. So no one's going to really watch it unless they absolutely want to hear me. Anyway, so yeah, that is the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed her new cage. Um, I hope I'm not going to do too many more videos about her, but definitely more videos are coming. Um, like an educational video on crit trails, which I have done one before, but that was like years and years ago. So like, I didn't really know exactly what I was talking about, but I definitely knew what I was talking about. I just didn't know exactly what I was talking about. So um, I will be doing one of those videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.